We are John and Samantha, and the proud owners of a 1986 American Ford Econoline RV, bought by us as a salvage rebuilt project. The RV was bought as severely water damaged and required the interior to be completely stripped out. We plan to spend 2021 rebuilding the RV, and that work will be shown here on the channel. In 2022, we plan to take the RV on trips around the UK, taking in some stunning scenery and hopefully some wild camping or whilst undertaking the challenges of taking such a large vehicle down narrow country lanes. Morning guys, uh, following on from the last video, as promised, uh, we're going to have a go at uh, building the kitchen today. So um, let's crack on. Okay, this morning, as we said, uh, Last week, getting very excited, we're going to put the kitchen uh, work surface in and we're just measuring up now of the overhang that we want. Um, we've got a piece that's 155 and it's a standard size of 620 that comes out as well. And what we're going to do now is going to set up in the garage and cut away. I'll speak to you in a bit. Here we go guys, moments of truth. We've got to make a couple of adjustments to the corners we come out here. But I think Sam will be very happy with that. We've got um, a work surface with a few cutouts. Well there you go, that's part of the, uh, the work surface coming together. Okay guys, we've made the cut the work surface to slot straight into the back and voila we have one work surface just want to come back out here and the idea is because um you can find space when he goes what we're going to do is round this corner off as well so there's no nasty uh, knocks on there and uh, we are going to place this wonderful sink in that Sammy got. And I think you'll agree. And that is uh, obviously it goes with the way around, but I'm just marking it out uh, for now. But uh, yeah, well, that's the next job. We're going to cut the sink out and uh, drop the sink in. <laughs> okay right we've obviously cut the sink out as you can see from there but we're not going to waste this because Sammy is because it's a solid wood surface Sammy said she wants some chopping board so we're going to make some I don't know whether it's going to be square rounded edges or round ones we don't know yet but we're going to make a chopping board out of it um, for Sammy <coughs> okay let's see if this fits and doesn't fall through should be a perfect fit for the sink there you go. Now I know you guys are going to say something. I know that the edges have got to be sealed. Uh, with some sort of sealant and the top's got to be sealed as well. But that's the sinking situ. And we're going to crack on with the hob now that's going to go over on this side. So back to work again. Okay, we're now going to insert the, uh, the gas hob. And we're going to keep it level with the front of the sink, which is actually going to go there. We've got some ideas uh, coming up for... Um, to create this into a work surface but that's probably at a later date we'll um, have a look at that and they're quite uh, kindly sent me a template which is nice of them didn't get one with that um, it was too late anyway so we're going to cut that in and uh, we'll drop that into situ and um, 
we'll carry on from there. Chopping board, Bazam! there you go. <laughs> That's for the cooker. But yeah, sweet. I used to trim this edge off round here because I couldn't get the uh, jigsaw in there straight away. But uh, just a few more cuts, uh, straighten this up, and uh, we should be able to uh, put the uh, oven. Right, we've trimmed off the uh, sides. Hopefully, the template was correct, and if it was, we have ourselves a gas hob. Sammy will be pleased. And let's put that back in situ. We've brought it so it's flush with the front of the sink. So everything moves or is in line with the front. So there you go for the, uh, the kitchen. What we're going to do is just sand it down, manipulate it a little bit more, and we've got ourselves a nice curved edge. So, if you do happen to hit it, it's not going to hurt. Hopefully, you can see, guys, how the whole thing's coming together. Okay, guys. Right, we, obviously you can see now we've got the work surface um, in place, we've got the hob there, we've got the sink there. From one of the offcuts, we've made a lovely chopping board for Sammy, we might be able to make some more for her as well. And I'm sure that some of the people are going to come back and say, well, you haven't got much work surface to actually work there. And that is the reason why, if we pan around here, we've actually got all this as a work surface for Sammy to prepare food on, or plate, plates and do whatever, cups of tea, whatever she's got to do, but that's the other part of the work surface. So, um, We'll continue on and um, see what else we can produce. It's the next morning now, guys, and uh, we've been having a go at building the shower today, which is one of my favourite parts of the build. <laughs> so, Rob, do you want to have a talk through what we've been doing <laughs> here? Specifications from John has got to be big, so we've made ourselves <laughs> a great big massive shower. As I mentioned in the uh, previous videos, we, we've put a, a false wall in here. Uh, we run the pipes uh, behind and one of the reasons we did that is because we don't want no joints behind here so if there is any any yeah. problems we know where the problems are we can get to them because this is going to be a, a solid wall and you're not going to have access to it as you can see we've insulated all the pipes and we put insulation around as well and yeah. we are a good 65 millimeters away from the outside of the wall um, so I don't think we're going to get any frost or any damage no. caused by that. That'll be okay, won't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, should it's, it, it should be good. It should be good. I don't think you have any problems with it. At least we've access yeah. to most of it as well. Um, tomorrow we're going to plywood this and maybe get some fiberglass on. We don't know. We'll see where we go. Yeah, it's plywood um, tomorrow. I've got to uh, install this as well. We said we're changing this yeah. to copper pipe, so it's a good solid fixing for the shower head. 
we are going to channel into there um, about half an inch and then we're going to insulate as much as we possibly yeah. can above there because that's close to the ceiling and yeah. then that's going to be fixed in and that's your shower head in a solid position so so, so let's, let's try and get this camera back a bit rob so we've also put in the petition where the door well not door is it the, the opening is going to be because they have a shower curtain here so that's uh how, how can't really tell on the camera how wide is that rob that's 16 inches wide and the door is 25 inches wide okay sorry for going back to imperial but that was what i measured and we've done a bit of a step yeah we've done a bit of a step to uh to to sound the water so the shower curtain falls behind it as well so yep. no water goes out into the hallway of the rv yeah um which makes sense would sense anything else um, these have all been set in and they'll have gone off by tomorrow and it will be as solid as a rock so Happy right. days. If you guys want to hang on a little bit longer and hear me sing in the shower, not a problem. Oh my God, yours. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, okay, so uh, we're coming back to you in a minute. But for us, it'll be tomorrow. So hang in. We'll be back in a second. And there you have your shower head installed, John. Okay, that gives you plenty of room to do what you're going to do. Most of short people are fine. Uh, it's just the people that are six foot tall that's uh, <laughs> got the problem. So uh, that's the light switch is installed on the back end of that shower unit. Right, we're going to have a test of our new shower. Here we go. Look at that lovely waterfall. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's Look at the steam, steam coming off coming it. Off <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? What's the temperature on there, Sam? On that boiler? Forty. Forty at the minute. Forty-one. Two. Three. Four. Look at that steam coming off there. And it's going through the vent. Oh, I, did, I, I did say this is going to be a favourite part of the RV. Look at that. Look at that steam. That's 47. 47 degrees. It's getting heavy in the bucket. <laughs> Hold that bucket, Rob. <laughs> Hold that bucket. Staying steady at 47. Staying steady at 47. Look at that steam coming off there. Beautiful. No leaks. No leaks anywhere. No, no leaks. No, no leaks. Let's pan over to the boiler. Forty eight degrees. Cool. Right, Rob. I'll let you put that bucket down now, mate. You're right. Yeah. Alright, let's let's knock it off. Well, lots done this week, Rob. I'm sure you'll agree with that. We have, we've so, got quite a bit done. We've got the uh the kitchen um installed, not completely finished yet, obviously the taps have gotta go in. And we've got the other side as well that we've got the work surface but after cutting the sink out yep. um, we're going to use this uh, round it off and sand it down and cut out so sam has got a bit more of a work yep. surface over here as well so we can actually use yep. that and it can be slid away somewhere so they're going to make utilize so we're in a bit of a cut out here yeah, it is where, where yeah, the tap's so going to go in the, yeah. uh, the tap so uh, yeah. it'll fit straight in so she's got a load of work surface there and she's also got... It, it would just be a scrap piece of board otherwise, it wouldn't would. it? So. Yeah, I mean, you can make some chopping boards out of it. Any chopping boards you actually need, we've got a yeah. good one already. Yeah, we've so, made one already. Yeah. Well, you've made and one already. And then over here, um, we've got the other yep. work surface that um, cool. Sammy's got as well. Yeah, okay. Um, the boiler's now actually installed. Um, and it's up and running, which Super. is sweet. Super. And we've also... Go on, Rob. Yep. ...done the shower. The shower. I'm going to step inside it, John. Uh, we've got the shower head running. We've... Um, tested it now we flushed the pipes through uh, got rid of all the debris that's in the pipes and tested it and it runs yep. an absolute treat 
Absolute beauty. So um, we've got one more backboard on there. There's yeah. 65 mil of insulation back there, isn't there? So yeah, there's little bits and bobs to do yet, which obviously. But um, yeah. the good thing is we test it, run it, and not one leak, um, which is a pleaser. Yeah, cool. And then around the corner here, John, we've installed the light switches for the shower and for uh, the back and, uh, end. Water as pumps well. now in there we have just run that water pump haven't we we just realized that it it's not the quietest so we do need to do a little bit of work on the insulation yeah. sound yeah. insulation for that so uh we'll come back to that on uh on the next video and sh show you what we've uh, done to reduce noise levels on that not very happy with the noise on it yeah very pleasing week very pleasing week indeed yeah um we've got quite a bit done. cool all right guys so we did promise you a nice video this week and i'm sure well i hope you agree that that is a nice little video plenty done uh hang in more to come next week so uh, we'll sign off there guys and uh say uh take care and uh, see you soon bye